It's still going on outside. Driving by, screaming crazy crap. They're highly annoying people. They would not want to be their victim. You know, I was supposed to be in police protective custody. The officers would even walk by a Walmart and say stuff to me. And different things about stuff in the house. And they didn't help me inside the house. They would help me out in public, but they wouldn't help me in the house. And even on the gunshot night, after the shooting night, they bring in Walmart, some guy running it, wouldn't let him help me, and they knew about the shooting night. In front of people by the fruit counter and by Wood Forest, about 30 men. Um, they left us all up there to die. Someone needs to fix it. It's all, it's like the Amish men with fears. If somebody actually pulled that protected home custody case, because an officer talked today, there's so many crimes in that wiggly bug town. It's a house of war. People have screamed, swore at this case. And these people are so advanced. We're only pleased detectives and investigators and hired security should see me and hear me. They hacked into it by Christmas 18 and illegal uh, um, access into the police database didn't go well. And they sold it to regular people. Bay Family Church has it. My client that I watch on Shepler Church Road. Her family's church has it. Um, my grandson Daniel, his couple of his teachers had it. Um, nurses at Altman Hospital. Um, people in Hartville had it. Um, Macedonia. Uh, Warren. It went across the country at one point. And a lot of people were good showing up, trying to protect me from an occult, trying to kill me. Um, Man Cannon, Canton, a lot of people in this area. And some people were laughing. Everybody knows what's going on but her family. Um, none of this is funny. They watch it like a reality show. And not realizing that I'm a human being and this isn't a show that it's real life and these are real human beings that are hurting and it's just a retired judge his dirty friends and an occult killing people in front of them and how not funny this is Like they told Dave, March 1st of 15 and 19, a legally bugged house. It's just a real life case of how to get away with murder. On the shooting night near Christmas 18, the home surveillance from the Protect Your Life case caught my ex with the shooters, how they killed two. And there's a video of me hiding on the floor and him screaming at me not to get off the phone and laser light into the living room, lights crossing out back. And him being caught in home surveillance with the shooters, how they killed two outside. They were going to come up and kill me next time. And then the next day, me running from them. And out of the house before mine, where there's a male nurse, his, uh, I think it was his grown son, the man with a black beard and black hair, tried to grab me when I ran from him. And then he ran back in the house when Dave caught him. And, um, Dave out checking trail cameras. I told you I think they broke into that old lady's side of the duplex and where those men were staying because they went to the wrong house. I think they actually did go to the wrong house because where that old lady's light went off, they said it was actually a gun discharge. And they said they actually killed those people. I really, and I got tortured when I tried 
to get those people help. And they have all this on legal video in a protective black cape, including the torture of an officer that was take so, so dirty, helped torture me and didn't care his base was on video and they were selling it of raping a helpless innocent woman. And they think it's funny making money off this. It's not. And like I said, there's no reason nobody's helped me. And the last one, what Will said, all that stuff was illegal. They can't tell somebody, no one can help you. They can't list you crazy if you tell someone. My one friend from the prosecutor's office. In any program, you can tell whoever you feel comfortable in telling. They can't tell you. You can't say nothing. They can't list you crazy. And they can't tell you. No one can help you. No one has that authority. That's a setup. And it's a scam. Uh, and they can't tell you. They're going to arrest you if you try to give a statement. And demand it or they'll put you in jail. Um, that's badgering a witness and obstruction to justice and tampering with evidence. Everything but that agent listing me on format was illegal. And he knew everything. Um, Canton police are already looking for that Steve and Eric for stalking. And um, for actually did those stalking tapes with the shower scene and the date rape drug confessions. It's not funny they did that. And it's not funny these people take money to harass me. None of the stuff they have is admissible. It will get them life in prison. They did not have a court order. No sitting judge would write his own arrest warrant. And even my friend from the prosecutor's office that used to work there, he would write his own arrest warrant. The state would arrest him uh, for breaking constitutional laws. That the right to privacy, a right to remain quiet, a right to an attorney, a right to a fair court trial, and a right... Um, to not be mistreated. No judge would put that in writing. And no officer would ever say he's breaking constitutional laws either. Because it's five years automatically. Um, and it's not admissible. It's a legal search and seizure. Police and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of life. And they have to speak to everyone before they start. Or it's a legal search and seizure. It's the law. It's the law. And I've talked to several police departments. And they agree. Nobody gave anybody a court order to break in and stalk me and date rape drug me. That's highly illegal. And none of this is funny that August, we're August 10th or 11th, 22. Walmart 62 by the hair salon start following me under tape and audio how they call Will, the agent from the Kent FBI, and explain Michelle and he cut a deal to set up that no one had ever helped me. And it's funny they won't do the right thing and help me. Um, my friend from the prosecutor's office said it's got ridiculous after everything the agent said and did, nothing was legal and, um, they can't go along with illegal and, um, they, it's got to the point, it's ridiculous. Nobody's not helping you because they can't go along with what he said. The only thing legal he did is list me informant and, uh, put me in police protective custody and had an officer talk to Dave and that's when the protective custody guys started. September 27th, 18. Have you ever been so afraid that your breath was cold leaving your body and that you couldn't get warm? Have you ever been that afraid that you couldn't get warm from being that afraid? And when you exhale, your breath was actually cold. I have. I know that kind of fear. And nobody should ever know.